So, ladies and gentlemen, when I, if I'm looking into combining two functions, basically I want you guys to understand, first of all, what the notation. This says f plus g of x. And basically, all that is really telling you to do is take the function f of x and add it to the function g of x. I would write it in that notation so you guys can just remember, because it's really that easy. That's really all you're doing. So you're taking your function f of x, which is x squared, and you're adding it to the square root of x plus 1. Now, you have a variable x that's being squared, and you have the square root of x plus 1. Are those like terms? No. So can you actually combine those? No, you can't. So that's really basically it. That's all we can basically do for this problem. All right. Um, however, one thing that we are going to ask is how to find the domain. So a lot of times I'll say, hey, add these two functions, and then let me tell me what the domain is. Or I might say, hey, add these two functions, and um, uh, take these two functions, and then you know, figure out what the domain is, is going to be, and so forth. So remember, to identify the domain, x squared, that produces x squared. You can plug in any number for x squared, right? Doesn't matter. But however, here, we can only choose values that are going to be Remember, x plus 1, actually go over here. Remember, x plus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0. So subtract 1, subtract 1. x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So my domain, you can write, is all values of x that are greater than or equal to negative 1 or negative 1 to infinity. Anybody have any questions on that? Just remember domain, what domain represents. What numbers can you not plug in? I can plug in any number into this addition of two functions, except for any number that is, if it's less than negative 1, it's not going to work. Let's do negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. Perfect. Negative 2 plus 1 is what? Negative 1. Can you take the square root of negative 1? Not in the real number system, you can't. So that would not work. So that's why it has to be all numbers greater than negative 1. Now let's get into the next one. The next one says f plus g, and then evaluate for negative 2. So there's a couple different ways you guys can do this. Basically, all they're asking to do is add the two functions, and then instead of evaluating for the input of x, you're going to evaluate for the input of negative 2. Well, if you already have them added, all you simply need to do is just plug in negative 2. Which we actually end up getting. So it's 4 plus, and then in this case would be uh, uh, negative square root of negative 1, which is i. Just remember um, the square root of negative 1. We, represent, we use the imaginary number i, the square root of a negative 1. We're going to represent that with i. But it's not in the real number. That's why it's not a part of our, in our domain. 